You want to know what Devin Booker, Damian Lillard, Kyrie Irvin, Blake Griffin, Anthony Davis, and Zion Williamson all have in common? Not just they're all great NBA players, but they've all graced the cover of NBA 2K. What they also have in common is none of them have won an MVP. Where there's one player that's won three MVPs in the last four years. One Nikola Jokic, who has not graced a 2K cover at all. And while many of the past MVPs from Giannis to James Harden to Kevin Durant to, of course, Steph Curry have all graced the hollow cover of 2K. And as 2K25 prepares to drop in the next few days, you have to wonder why the highest rated player in the whole game has not even sniffed a 2K cover. Is it Gil's assessment that big men don't sell? I mean, I guess you could say that. If you look at the covers, the last time a bona fide center graced the cover was 2K18, which was the Legends Edition that had Shaq on the cover. But if you want to go further and have the true 2K cover be a center, you have to go all the way back to 2007. Or better yet, NBA 2K7, which probably would have come out in 2006. Which was, once again, Shaquille O'Neal, who graced the cover in 2K7, 2K6, and Ben Wallace, another bona fide center, graced it in 2K5. So maybe that's true, what Gil said. Big men don't sell. So maybe putting a center in the vein of Nikola Jokic would be too problematic for their sales. But then again, doesn't that game sell itself? They're basically on that Madden level where they're pumping out the same game every single year, and people still rally behind it, buy it, play it for countless hours and then someone like me who hasn't purchased a 2k game since probably 2k 20 maybe gets it for free in a couple months when playstation plus decides to give it away when the parks are all empty and everyone's had their feel of the game but with that said doesn't this feel like a slight to one of the greatest players currently in the nba that his face will not grace the cover this year after a phenomenal third MVP in four seasons. Something Shaq, nor Kobe, nor Steph Curry, nor Kevin Durant, nor James Harden could do. And the list goes on. We can keep going, but it's just weird that a guy like Luka, who hasn't won a single MVP, doesn't have a championship to his name, as all NBAs, of course, many triple doubles, many great things he's done, but he's graced the cover of a 2K while Nikola Jokic, three-time MVP, not far removed from his first championship and bringing Denver their first championship, gets nothing. But he does get the highest rating, so I guess that amounts to something. But when you look at it, guys like Tim Duncan have not graced the cover or even last year's MVP, Joel Embiid. So maybe it's just a big man bias going on there at 2K. But whatever it is, Nikola Jokic definitely deserves to be on the cover of 2K at some point in his career. So with that said, how many of you will be playing 2K as it drops in the next few days? And if you are, let us know what console you're playing on. Me, myself, I'm not. But my podcast co-host, Big Nige, definitely will. So Let us know where you'll be playing 2K and whether we can show up at the park to show you what a real hooper is. Either way, thank you guys for checking this out. Just thought I'd drop a real quick little commentary on 2K. Thank you guys and be back soon with more content.